Hello, today I want to talk about something that I've collected since I was a little kid. I still have them. They're still in great shape. It's a certain kind of non-sports collectible card called Wacky Packages, also known as Wacky Packs. Basically little stickers that spoofed uh, companies and products um, and uh, started in the late 60s. Uh, I discovered them in the late 60s, early 70s when I was a very little kid. Some of them got passed down to me by my older brother and sister. Anyway, let me show you what I'm talking about. These right here, Wacky Packages stickers. Here's just a few of the actual packages that the stickers and gum uh, came in. Uh, these aren't particularly old, I don't think, uh, but anyway, they're ones that I just happened to save. And you'll see here that the Wacky Packages uh, spoof products like Ajax soap or Crest toothpaste, you know, it becomes crust. Um, uh, so that is the gist of those collectible stickers. And like I said, they started in the late 60s. Now here's the folder I keep them in, and it's got, of course, lots of different uh, non-sports collectible cards. But if we go here to uh, past the Kiss cards, past the Spice Girls stickers, then we have our beloved Wacky Packages. Uh, I'm just gonna scroll through here, giving you a little view of all the ones that I have saved since I was a kid. Now, some of these, I haven't really closely inspected these or looked them up. Some of these are probably reprints. Some of these may be originals from the 60s, 70s. Uh, I don't know if they're in any kind of order, but as you can see, there are a ton of them. And I remember some of these are etched into my brain like, you know, like old nursery rhymes or something. I've, I've just seen them so often. And of course, a lot of people who collected these back in the day ended up just sticking them on everything. Their desks, their chairs, their bedroom door, their bike. Like, we stuck these on everything. But I was at least smart enough to, I think, only stick uh, the doubles that I had. And, you know, if I had a duplicate of one of the stickers, then I would... Uh, Probably stick it on something that I owned, a notebook, a piece of furniture. But I think you'll see, and I, and I remember that some of these stickers were actually ones that I stuck on something and then had a second thought and decided to put them back in the collection. So I think I'll, there's at least one in here like that. And I'll let you know if we come across it here. Uh, battle caps. Uh, uh, I remember that bottle cap candy. It wasn't that good. Oh, there's the wet look. Remember the Gillette, the wet look? You would spray it on your hair and it would make it look like you just came out of the shower. Weird 70s stuff. Yeah, 16 magazine becomes 61. That's great. There we go. It's very, you know, very recognizable products are the ones that they would spoof. You know, Raid becomes paid. Plopsicle. I love Mold Rush, and I actually loved that gum. Gold Rush gum, really great stuff. Moving on here. I mean, these things, just the artwork alone, and if I could rattle off all the artists that are involved in these over the years, that were involved in these, I would, but I, I would have to Google that. Um, but just the artwork and the, and the brilliance of the, of the parodies, this really kind of, warped my brain in a good way when I was a kid. You know, this and Mad Magazine were right up there with uh, some very influential uh, hex lacks, influential pop culture stuff that intersected with my young brain. The hostile thinkies are really great. Hostess Twinkies, hostile thinkies, Mountain Goo. I just recently stopped drinking that Mountain Dew stuff. Yucks, I mean, Yicks instead of uh, Vix. National Geographic. <laughs> JLO. Oh, there's one. Okay. Cover Ghoul. Now, that's the sticker that I stuck somewhere and then had a second thought about it and then kind of taped it back onto a backing card just because I wanted to keep it. Cover Ghoul. That's probably an older one. Uh, if I remember correctly, which is probably why I kept it. And this one is a very old one that I stuck somewhere and then put it back in the collection. Mummy T-shirt. Fruit of the Tomb. Those were a couple of my favorites. Kook Aid was always good. 
Slay School. That was pretty funny. Oh, yeah. Beast Ball. I mean, I just love these things. Whoever, I wonder who is the person that came up with this and how? How did it, how did it come to be? I should probably look that up, huh? There's Play Skull instead of Slay School. Satan rap. Nice. Sormel chili. Slayer aspirin. Okay. Oh, sneezer. Now I think that was an older one too, if I remember. Some of these just jump out at me as being the older ones, and I don't know why. I could be wrong. This is like, I and mean, I really haven't looked at these, looked through these in many years. So you're seeing them. Uh, basically, as I'm seeing them for the first time in a long time. But they're all in great shape. I'm glad I thought, you know, 20 or 30 years ago to put them in this thing. You know how these things usually end up. If you actually do keep them and don't stick them, you usually put a rubber band around the stack of them and throw them in a junk drawer or something. You know, but these have been... Fairly well protected over the years. Thank you, childhood Michael, for knowing what to do. Screech tape. That's great. Oh, now there's Screamsicle. Pretty good. <laughs> okay. Continuing on here. Hardly rap. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, we're almost to the end here. No tips. Rice-a-phony. And I don't even know if they still make these. I, I want to say they, they have made them over the last few years, but I, I'm not sure. I remember seeing them in the 90s. Maybe some of these are from the 90s, but um, I think most of these are from when I was a kid. Mashbox. Cop a bone. Harry Lee. Now that, I remember that one. Oh, here's the last few. Milk Muds, Dinky Go Nuts, Crooky Crisp, Whalos. Now, I think those last four are very recent ones, or fairly recent. All right? So there's the end of the Wacky Packages stuff. And you see it just goes on here with other non-sports cards. Now, let me show you something that I just got recently. Check this out. This was given to me by a friend just a couple days ago. It is a 1979 uncut sheet of wacky packages. It's huge. It's being held down by cat food. And it's really cool. If you uh, look very closely at the uh, copyright there, it does say 1979. Some of these designs might be from earlier sets, but uh, this poster, or this uh, uncut sheet rather, is definitely copyright 1979. And just look at all these. Wormy packages. There we go, it spoofs itself. You know, when Wacky Packages spoofs itself, you know that it's got it going on. Baby Runt. Hi, Meowser, what are you doing? Yeah, I remember seeing some of these in my collection. Don't you, Meowser? You remember seeing them? What you doing? Meowser loves the wacky packages. How you doing, Meowser? I'm almost done, Meows. Busted finger. <laughs> There's another wormy packages. Yep, some of these are repeated shot wheels. Love that one all the time. Loved shot wheels. 
I was a big Hot Wheels fan anyway when I was a kid, so. Blisterine, I remember that one. Oh yeah, Blast Blue Ribbon. Footsie Roll, Logs. <laughs> Good jump, Mauser. Oh, Mauser. Mauser, you're kind of in the way a little bit. All right, so now let me show you the back of this. The back of this is really cool. All right, dig this. This is the back of the uncut sheet of 1979 Wacky Packages trading cards, uh, stickers. And as you remember, if you were a kid like me collecting these things, sometimes the back of the cards would have just a, a, a small section of another Wacky Pack design on it, and it would form a puzzle, basically, with a few other cards. So as you can see on the back of these cards, on the back of the cards, some of them will have pieces to that puzzle on the back while other cards will have these kind of a uh, list of uh, cards in the series so you can check it off as you get them. And so what a cool gift, huh? Thank you, friend, who gave me that. I appreciate that, Wayne. All right, so that's it, you guys. That's my Wacky Packages collection. Hope you dug it. And we will talk to you next time. Please subscribe. Please like the video. And uh, please keep wacky packages in your life.